first time I had a seizure when I actually knew I had epilepsy, because I was having seizures all the way through my life, but uh, I didn't know that that's what they were. The first one I had when I actually, you know, suddenly realised, well, there's a major problem here, was right in front of a physio before we played Argentina in a World Cup qualifier. So maybe it was the stress of playing against Maradona, but I was just standing there. I'd hurt my ankle, and all of a sudden I collapsed and hit the ground, and the physio said, well, hang on a minute, this, this is not right. As soon as we get back home to Australia, you go to see a neurologist. And I thought, ah, nothing wrong with me, so I, I didn't go. And he phoned me up and he said, have you been yet? Because he knew there was something really major happening here. And sure enough, did the test, scratch on my brain, yes, you've got epilepsy. So it was like, wow, A, what is epilepsy? Never heard of it before. I'd be overcome with this, they call it an aura. And it is, it's an aura, a feeling of, wow, like loneliness. And that's hard to, to comprehend, I'm sure, from your angle. I'd feel sick, I'd feel really hot, it would last for 30 seconds, and then it would be over. So, I don't know, it was, it was just a horrible thing that would happen, and it would happen in games. I'd be playing for Australia and it would happen and I'd deal with it. And then after a while, I mean, I was having four a day. So for my family, it was like, he's having a seizure quick, let's lie him down or let's get him away from this, or, you know, it was everybody around. They're not on tender hooks, but they're certainly, uh, be careful. Don't let him climb that ladder. Don't, whatever you do, let him go swimming on his own. Uh, so there are lots of, the impact is big on the people around.